Hi everyone! In this video we are going to show you how to transform an acoustic guitar into an electric one. In addition, you could, just like us, use only waste materials. Right now we are going to try our folk guitar with its homemade electromagnetic sensor. After that, we are going to explain how it works and also how to build the sensor. In order to make our guitar compatible with any e-guitar amplifier, we've added a jack plug to our system. First, we are going to amplify the guitar sound without any other effect. A little comparison of the sound without amplifier, now with amplifier. Playing with low the volume is nice, but it doesn't add much to the guitar tone. Now we are gonna use the amplifier in a way to make an electric guitar sound. One of the main effects of the electric guitar is saturation. We make the gain much higher than volume. It's cool to create your own e-guitar, but there is little change that you already possess an amplifier. That's not a problem, if you have a hi-fi, it will do. To get saturation, you can create your own pre-amplifier with an ampli up. You can also build your own amplifier, but it's a little bit more difficult. All connections are made, a little test without hi-fi. And now with it. The other advantage of the system is that we can record in a very good quality. Using a cable inserted to the line input jack, we can connect the electromagnetic sensor and the computer. After starting the computer software Audacity, we put mic volume to the maximum and we choose line input and a single input channel. Recording is started and we notice that the voice causes no interference. This way, one could compose its own music. After some adjustments, it could give a great result. A little experiment to illustrate the Larsen effect. I'll scratch the 110Hz string near the HeFi speaker and see what happens. We notice that the sound is increasingly louder and the string vibrates indefinitely. Unlike that one might sing, it's not the electromagnetic sensor that causes the string vibration. When the rope moves, the sensor generates an electrical signal representative of the vibrations of the string. The signal is amplified and the speaker diaphragm vibrates the same way. The sound has exactly the same tone as that of the string. Due to resonance, it vibrates with sound energy. Then the phenomenon intensifies until reaching the amplifier's limit. As you already understood, to transform an acoustic guitar into an electric one, an electromagnetic sensor should be made. The sensor works only with metal strings, so let's forget about those in nylon. In theory, the electromagnetic sensor's functioning is easy, but we did face a lot of problems to make it. The goal is to create an electric current from the string movement. An electric current can be created in a coil of wire from a magnetic field variation. For example, in a generator, an electric current is created if you move coils in front of magnets. But the problem is that strings aren't magnets. So we can't just put a coil in front of them to get the signal. We have to make the strings slightly magnetic by using magnets that aren't attached directly to the strings. 
will use remote magnetism by placing them on the sensor. A little test. If a non-magnetic ring on a magnet are brought closer without touching, the ring becomes temporarily magnetic until I remove my hand. Therefore, our sensor contains magnets which are facing on the same polarity. These magnets transform the thin metallic rods into magnets that in turn magnetize the strings. The rods are thin enough to allow winding a thousand cold turn and also to bring them out to the other side. To build a sensor you'll need magnets, a transformer, a wooden plank, moldy screws and a butterfly nut. For the magnets, we use the ones we find in little speakers. They've got to be facing the same polarity, but be careful, in this position the magnets repel, so you've got to force them to hold. After that, you have to recover the primary winding of the transformer, but it's a delicate task because you have to remove the steel plates one after the other. Regarding the wood, to be secure we recommend solid wood. In order to keep homogeneity, the one we use has the same color as the head of our guitar. Now, to make the magnets hold easily, the moldy screw were cut, but it still needs cyanoacrylate glue to make sure it will hold very well. Then you have to drill holes in wood, at the coil, and at last at the attachment system. Finally, a wire and a jack plug could be added, shape its wooden support to make it homogeneous with the guitar. You don't have to drill any hole in the guitar, it was the one for the strap.